Okay. <laughs> Here we are. We're playing a game called Infinite Chess. This game came out pretty recently. I was reached out to by Naviary, the developer of this game, who said it would be right up my alley, and Naviary was incredibly correct. It's right up my alley. Uh, there will be links in the description. This is browser-based, so you can try it at home. Uh, I think it's infinitechess.org. Uh, and there's also a link to the Patreon and to the YouTube channel that's got uh, an interesting, like, descriptive... Well, okay, this video right here. I guess you could just go check it out from the website. Uh, the idea is this. It's chess, but infinite. <laughs> so there's no, there's no boundaries, right? So let's play a quick local game. Okay, cool. So this is the idea. You've got chess, uh, but it, it just goes forever. <laughs> it just, if you zoom out enough, it just... It just gives you little icons that you can click to zoom into where there are where there are pieces You can see it's not quite the regular like 8x8 starting pieces uh, Because it turns out on an infinite board. That's generally uh, It's just hard to end the game. It's pretty drosh. So we've got a few new pieces. So this is this this is the setup Here's the skinny. I don't know how notation works in this game <laughs> What's is the is this like where's is this a one? Uh, I, I don't know. Navier's in the chat <laughs> They can answer our questions. So there are new pieces. There's this piece, which is a knight and a rook. Exactly what it looks like, knight plus rook. Uh, this guy is just like, moves like a king. It moves any direction one away. Uh, and then we have these guys in the back. These are hawks, I think. No, they're called something else. Are they? This is the chancellor. This is, I don't remember what the pieces are called. <laughs> right, so we've got hawks and they move two or three away. Uh, jumping over pieces in any of the directions, diagonal or orthogonal. Uh, the original 8x8 board is from 1-1 one, one to 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, cool. Uh, Twitch is exploding trying to stream this. I, there's going to be bitrate issues. I apologize. Click on a piece and you see the coords. That is incorrect. <laughs> that is not how it works. Okay, so first things for... By the way, this thin line here, this is where pawns promote. Um, the UI I know is pretty cool. You can move, so if, <laughs> alright, this is maybe the most questionable opening of all time, but if you wanted to, <laughs> on turn one, just move your queen out to here, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that, and then you can click, apparently, it, there's this bishop here, that, the, the UI is really nice. It's to make it easier for you, so like, this bishop isn't on the same diagonal as this queen. As you move around, you see that this bishop stays on the same diagonal. Uh, I like the sound effect, by the way. All white pawns promote at rank eight. Okay, fantastic, there we go. Uh, and then you can just click this piece here to zoom in. So it's actually a really usable interface. There's also, uh, there's this, uh, this just resets the board, this, this dotted line here to see, sorry, it doesn't reset the board, but it zooms out so that you can see all of the pieces. Uh, and then this guy here zooms in to wherever is like the center of the board. This guy here backs up to like your previous perspective. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, now there's one more. Uh, how do you do the? How do you do the perspective thing? Is that is that an option? Pause. Perspective. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's Wazda to move, right? And here you can truly appreciate the infinite expanse of the board. There, oh, there's our queen right there. You see on the diagonal, it shows us that there's a queen on this diagonal. And if you want to zoom to it, you can do that. Uh, and then there's this bishop right here. All right, so that this is this is the game. This is the game. Uh, and so you know the goal is checkmate. Uh, so let's do this. Let's just play some games. Can we get a link to the site? Go for it. Post links for free in the chat. It's infinitechess.org. <laughs> E4. That's how you know you're playing against a noob. <laughs> Here you go. This is, <laughs> this is a real infinite chess player's opening. Right here. Oh my god. Are you serious? We got a disconnection? Working on uh, generalizing conserved currents to the energy momentum tensor. Good stuff. Good stuff. All the quantum scientists are watching. There are literally dozens of us. Is this... I would like to play the game. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, is this an attempted... <laughs> like, fool's mate? Um, 
Okay, we're gonna go for value. Opponent is disconnected. Chat. Infinite crosswords? <laughs> oh god. Can you imagine? I mean, you could do endless mode crosswords procedurally generated. It wouldn't be very good. All right, this is what this is what we call just messing around. <laughs> We're just learning right now. This is there's absolutely no point to this move. Oh my god, what would be great is if the opponent didn't auto disconnect every move. It's me. Figures. <laughs> Only Andre's Russian internet. By the way, I stream at 720p. Can you guys even see the pieces? If you went closer with the queen, it would have been a hawk fork. I know, I know. <laughs> Alas. Pieces are totally visible? Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I, I really like the way that they... Okay, cool. So here, we fork the opponent's king and hawk. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's so pointless. Or is it? A one piece advantage is less of an advantage on an infinite board with an extra like eight pieces or whatever. Six pieces? Six pieces. Oh, there's some pawns too. The hawk's blind spot. It's just like real life. If you're too close to a hawk, they can't see you. Average game length, eight moves. Importance of a hawk, infinite. It really is. Well, I mean, the hawks kind of get shafted a little bit, right? Because they start off further away from the board, but they can only move two or three, you know, goes at a time. But it, like, makes sense, I think, probably, the way that we're just going to take this piece because we can. I mean, we set up the fork. Why not? Like, these pawns do a lot to prevent sort of degenerate shenanigans, I guess, right? I want to see connect 4 with- I want to see connect 20 with this. <laughs> or connect 16, or however many you can connect, whatever it is. All this needs is uncertain moves a la quantum chess. It doesn't need quantum chess. <laughs> We've played quantum chess. It is the inferior form of quantum chess. I, I greatly prefer entanglement chess to quantum chess. AKA Hoff Schrodinger chess. But that that's small scale chess. We gotta think big. This is this is large chess, not small chess. Um also can we now Hell yeah, dude. Okay, I'm not blundering anything. Alright, chat. Here we set up. Perfect. Okay, here we're threatening the king rook fork <laughs> because the only piece that defends this rook at the start of the game is this chancellor. <laughs> All right, okay, this is good. We're, we're pawn grubbing. Next, we're going to go queen six negative three. I, I wish there was a way uh, there was a way to show which, um, like if you're hovering over a square, like if that is what this coordinate was. Because right now, I think it's just wherever the middle of your screen is, and that's hard to do. It's hard to keep track of, you know? Like, okay, which square am I looking at? You know what I mean? Which one of these is 24, 1? Like, I guess it's, I guess it's this one. Oh no, this only zooms in to a default amount. Okay, never mind. But we, we've set, we've set up the perfect move here. <laughs> Chat, okay, this is like everything that's wrong with beginner chess, <laughs> right? That's a good idea. What's well, good to hear when when the dev says it's a good idea? Play chess with redshift. I don't think I've seen entanglement chess. One of my viewers made it. Uh, you can, I don't remember the link, but if, if you want to see a lot of crazy chess variants, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a playlist with crazy chess variants that my, that my viewers have made. Naviary is not one of my viewers. The dev, who's in the chat, by the way. Um, but we've got, yeah, we've got all sorts of, there's been like, let's see, Sudoku chess, Monopoly chess, Connect 4 chess, chess skurs. There's been fractal chess. There's been uh, chess ball, which is like chess with billiard physics. He saw the strats. Oh my God. We're playing with a gamer here. Holy. Okay. Jeez. All right. Can we skewer the king though and get a free bishop? 
out of it? No, because block. And then we can't... But then if we... No, because I need access to this square. Oh my god, it's going to take all of my time just to do the math. Can't even pawn grub again. <sighs> okay, so hold on. This check... No, and then a block. Plus we have to be careful about that diagonal. Here and then over. Oh, and then there's no way for me to... So I need to I need to get to this square, right? I guess I could threaten getting to this How can I threaten getting to this square in like a way that also accomplishes something else? You know what I mean? I guess I could go here. No, but then immediately it all falls apart. I guess I could check here, but then No, that's not good either. But Oh, this guy's undefended. Okay, check here. And then here we get the fork. No, but then this moves one closer. <laughs> I'm definitely... I'm going to flag tunnel visioning on what I can do with a single queen. Um, here's here. Check here. Oh, actually, maybe that's fine. This is This isn't good. Don't, don't do as I do, chat. <laughs> don't do as I do. If they're in your chat, they're a viewer now? Well, you know what I mean. There's chess ball, which is like chess with billiards physics. That was fun. Then if your board roughly adds two points of strength to each sliding move. There's, there's a quite old write-up on the estimated worth of the pieces. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's cool that there was existing literature on the, on the infinite board situation. I also wish, like, I want a zoom. I don't know what, like, a good way to do it in UI is. And this is mostly for, like, spectator purposes. Check here. Oh, block with this, and then I don't have a good move afterward. Wait, yes, I do. Boom. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is good. Okay, that's what we expected, chat. Now... Oh my god, this is going to be like draw by repetition, isn't it? <laughs> Skewer the king, free queen. I mean, I know he's probably just going to block. But... Okay, block with the knight. That defends this pawn, which is what I was actually going for, so that's slightly frustrating. <laughs> is this where our reign of terror ends? Probably, right? Um, I mean, we can go, like, pawn hunting. This is the only undefended pawn. <laughs> so let's just, let's just grab a free pawn and see what that does for us. <laughs> okay, so far we've only made queen moves. <laughs> Which isn't fantastic. The mosquito queen strat. <laughs> I value the queen at 20, probably, right? Entailment chest is so cool, right? The screen is gray and coordinates are nan nan. Cement has a fork in the cutlery drawer. <laughs> Doxed. No, stop. Andre, just refresh your page. It's fixed by a refresh. There we go. I was afraid to refresh. That's why. <laughs> that's just every time you, you use a new chess client. Just uh, just invite the dev into your chat. Problem solved. Easy. Mosquito Queen is so strong. We're really stress testing how annoying the variant is. I think I, I think I probably blundered. There was much better that I could do there. I really feel like the only pieces worth doing anything with are, are the infinite moving pieces. Everything already defends everything else pretty well, right? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, what do we do, chat? It's our turn, and we don't have, like, an obvious... He's already... He's formed, like, a... Like, a solid barrier around his pieces. I guess we, quote-unquote, develop our rooks. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything on playing chess on an expanded board that's also a projection of some wacky topology, like Climb Bottle. It's funny you should say that, Constant Flaw. I am working on a variant 
aka I designed a chess variant that one of my viewers has of their own volition decided to implement electronically called topology chess, where it's on an eight by eight board and you just get to alter the topology of the board, like climb bottle, real projective space, torus, um, sphere. It's good stuff. It doesn't exist yet, but uh, it's it sure is relevant. Um, all right, we're going to try and do like the most intense Alakine's gun of all time, I guess. Um, let's let's grab what are we going to do? Let's get let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. I don't know. The rook I actually probably want to play close to the chest, right? Let's 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 attack this pawn here. Let's get our rook out. I did it by a climb bottle, and that was and flat Taurus chess years ago at summer camp. Taurus chess exists, or at least it did in the early days of the internet. I'm sure that all of those ideas have existed. I've seen sphere chess, but the idea of topology chess is that like as for your turn, you can like cut or glue boundaries of the eight by eight board in whatever like way that you want. So it starts like flat eight by eight, I think. And then, you know, you can choose to make it like a Mobius or a cylinder in one way or the other way. And then you can choose to like make a slice against any, it's dynamic topology chess. That's exactly right. Oh, that's frustrating. What's the easiest way to defend that without using, oh, I guess this kind of defends that pawn, but also uh, <laughs> in a way, uh, develops my chancellor, right? Topology was a class of math that went right over my head. Uh, by the way, Osmodios, welcome first time in the chat. How's it going? Topology is one of the things that got me into doing chess, like, <laughs> professionally, like academically professionally. Uh, sorry, did I say chess? I meant math. Um, because I, I mean, I always did competition math was like a huge thing for me. Back in my day, um, I grew up in the States, so like, um, give me a second. Oh, uh, you know, like AMC, AAME, USAMO, that sort of stuff. Math counts back in middle school. Uh, and so that's my chess begin. I really don't want to move this pawn is the issue. But then double... Fuck it, we'll do it live. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. This is interesting. It's like the epitome of infinite chess versus the epitome of chess chess. It's like, okay, what is it? This is this game is where we where we find out whether it's better whether the degeneracy of infinite chess is stronger than just like solid, stable, actual chess play. Professional quantum chessist. I was never brave enough for math competitions. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with especially because they targeted at such a young age. It's a lot of it is about, um, oh, that's interesting. A lot of it is about just whether you are introduced at like a young enough age to the ideas. Because it's hard to learn on your own, so usually you have to be surrounded by a structure that encourages, like, math competitions. Because it's a different kind of math than, you know, like, regular math that you do at school, right? That really is annoying. So it's not so much a decision you make as a decision that, like, the cosmos makes for you. Which, you know... It's kind of lame, but I think we just push this pawn. Is that the way? Is that what we do? Let's just push this pawn. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. I love how symmetric this position is, by the way. I really didn't want to. I could have defended this the same way I defended that. But like the chancellors in the standoff, right? But I don't know, a sack to open me up probably is pretty good for my opponent, especially considering like the queen on this long diagonal. So I don't know. I'm about to gobble me up some pieces though. 
Well, really, it's pawns, not pieces. Interesting. Because now if I capture... Oh, that probably... I probably now really need to defend this like this. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably screwed if I don't do this move. Because taking this is actually really nice because now I can grab this pawn and then threaten, you know, like another fork. Maybe I should have just taken this here. I just didn't want to lose to like... Just with just with all the pieces. Actually, no. I should no. I should I shouldn't have. I should have taken the pawn. I should have taken the pawn there. I was being so dumb. Chat. Bad move. I should have committed like full send. This might actually do topology stuff with like compactness. As any open cover having an inf a finite sub cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did. I mean, I did like a math major, right? It was one of my. I did a triple major: math, physics, computer science, undergrad. And, uh, like, you know, I took, like, formal topology classes, like point set and algebraic, you know? I read Bunkery's. I read, you know, um, Hatcher. I, I, know, I know my topology. I know my connectedness, you know, axioms. I know my... Oh. Oh, my. Here we probably just do this. Right? Prevent the Discoverino. The Fossil, the Fusili. Or maybe maybe I do this. Maybe that's the better play. No, I think I that wants a defender. I'm I'm we'll we'll just do this. That's fine. I'm in the infinity chess chess camp. Oh god. <sighs> I remember that uh, through topology, you can turn a sphere inside out without breaking it. Yep, without cuts or, or, or tears or infinite, um, like, discontinuities, like cusps. Time to literally cut my opponents off at the second rank. Hell yeah. Professional quantum chesses. I never had an opportunity to do competition math, or if I did, I never knew where to go for it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there needs to be a structure. I was just very lucky. Math is taught very poorly at schools. I mean, yeah, most schools. I was blessed with just, there was like a really passionate teacher at my middle school who was like the single-handed source for creating like a structure uh, for like after school where, for our state, which I grew up in West Virginia. So like, you know, there wasn't like a ton of competition. But, ooh, okay. Here, I don't give a shit. Unless I do. Hold on. Like, I anticipated this. But now... Do I just take this? And then if takes, 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 and I don't care about that piece? Because I want to back rank my opponent more than I want everything else? I'm going to give up the free piece, chat. Call me crazy. Call me, call me deranged. Unhinged. Uh, yeah, we just had a teacher who, like, made a structure. Okay, here we have to ask ourselves what we want to do. Because I think... Oh, actually... Oh, wait. Letting our opponent jump in here with the knight was like a... No, that's fine. I think this is probably... I forgot that you don't have to press a button to submit the move like you do in 5D chess. You just click and it goes. So the move that I was considering, I have now definitely played. <laughs> but I think that's fine. Yeah, we just had a teacher who, uh, like, the only reason that I'm as into... That I'm... That I was as into... That I'm as into math as I am, which, like, defined my entire life, is because of middle school, she had this, like, after-school math competition structure thing that she set up. So it's the little things, right? And like, I didn't have any control over that. Are you joking? Okay, here the question is, is my, no, I need to save this rook. Am I crazy? Like, absolutely not. And I think I probably want all of my rooks in a row, <laughs> just like this. <laughs> my, 
Are your rooks connected? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I wanted also major in CS or math, but I switched majors halfway through and my school has a lame major system. Yeah, part of the reason, I, like one of the only reasons I was able to do uh, a triple major is because of the school that I went to, basically, you know? All right, here we ignore our opponent completely, hope we're not blundering anything, and then we go for the free piece. Just mosquito queen strikes again. I was hoping to break out of it with grad school. Hell yeah. I'd say universities really like to pretend the math they teach is the only real math. That's true. Um, I did some math competitions when I was in early grade school, fourth to seventh, but that range was basically just collegiate level algebra trig. Oh, that's cool. I did math counts, which was like exactly what competitive math for people in like the pre-high school range should be. Like there was like combinatorics, there was number theory. It was really good. I went to nationals. That was so much fun. Oh, oh. Wait, I'm such a dingus. This doesn't do anything near what I thought it would do. Oh, chat. I didn't realize I was so bad at chess. Oh, that's so cringe. I thought that I could do some shenanigans, but I can't, I can't do shit. This is, this is like a pointless endeavor. No, but I think I think it's I think it's probably okay. Ooh, is this a good move? Probably. Let's do it. Is it forcing? Yes. <laughs> then it is a good move. My first rule for infinite chess is see a free pawn. Don't. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. The pawns by the hawks definitely are not worth much. Yes. <laughs> yes. I missed M1. No, don't tell me I missed M1. Are you serious? Oh no, don't say that. Like my opponent's M1 or my M1? I missed M1, Ryan. Why would you give me this information? Oh, I will forever be crushed by this knowledge. I missed M1, Chuck. I'm so sad. This is definitely like the least efficient way to get to mate. Dude, if I, oh, if I miss mate in one. Are you serious? Mate in one? Oh, wait, I think I did miss mate in one. Oh my God. That's upsetting. Wait, that's good for me. Wait, unless, can I, can I do, oh no, wait, I can't do it anymore. I'm so sad. Chad, I'm so sad. <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to go this way. I know it's just a free pawn, but it's the last free pawn defending this area of the board. So that's something. Ooh. Okay, that's defended. So I don't feel terrible about that. So let's check. I'm my I'm skewering my own queen here, but the hope is that I have a follow-up. I don't have a follow-up. Well. It appears as though there is egg on my face. So if I do this. That feels good for me. Let's do this. So I, I lose my, can you draw arrows? No, <laughs> arrow drawing is also one of the number one most requested features that I usually have on any chess variant that I play. All right, but that's fine. Cause we take and then we get this and that seems good. <laughs> Mosquito queen, no! At least we have saved this rook, right? Now the question is what we what we do with the rook that we just saved. That's not safe. Oh, this seems good, maybe. Maybe. Cause if this guy's this guy's the only defender of this guy, so we could have like some crazy mate if we 
So if we try to fork this guy with any other piece, that could be good. <laughs> this is so degenerate. Oh, queen, really? Wait, is this like, okay. Takes, 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 two defenders, takes, takes. I think this is probably the move. I think this is probably the move, right? Now, now we get the other side of the coin. <laughs> Now we are attacked by Mosquito Queen. I mean, listen, if you can't take it, don't dish it out. You know what I mean? I predict there will be several missed mates in my next penultima. Oh, great. I double majored, but my degrees are so similar there's a ton of crossover. Well, same here, right? Yeah, okay, you've got the engineerings. Yeah. I've got, I mean, math, physics, and computer science, there's like a shitload of crossover. It's one of the only reasons I was able to... Whoa. I mean, that's defended. Is there a way to... Is my opponent... I don't know what that means. But I really want to attack this guy. Oh, sh five minutes left! Shit, what do I do? Um, let's move... How crazy would it be? If this was on a dark square, I would have gone crazy. Um, we're going to be really obvious and do this. It's pretty obvious what I'm after. <laughs> I think we're in a better position for sure. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chat, hold. Okay, now, now we have to try and come up with a mating net. I probably just take this rook if he moves the king away, right? Like, I need... Oh. Wait. And thus my attack is dead? That can't be right. Hold on. <laughs> okay, wait. What was that bishop doing? Because that bishop was doing something that was annoying me. Right? Okay, well, that bishop is now... I guess we can, but my queen, what? <laughs> give me a sec, give me a sec. Holding, continue to hold. I guess maybe we do this. Probably. Yeah, that's probably our best bet, right? <gasps> Wait, I'm so, what was I thinking? I thought so infinite that I lost track of the chess. <laughs> I thought so. Uh, what am I doing, Chad? Look at this move. That was like the worst. If you took all of the worst moves and optimized them for like how terrible a move. Why didn't he take my queen there? Chat, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, God. I'm going to vomit. That was so terrible. All right. Calm down, Samantha. Jesus Christ, put, put yourself together. Um, my opponent disconnected, so I have time. <laughs> you could have just taken my queen. I unpinned his knight. Okay. I guess I move here. Oh my God, chat, I want to vom. Oh God. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so bad. All right, that's fine. Oh God, I keep forgetting that I can't move my damn queen there. Sun shining on me. I guess I can threaten this pawn. Okay, I threaten this pawn and also this so that I can go over here. It doesn't work, he just blocks. I've enabled him to develop. No, Chad, I threw away everything. Oh, okay, that's bad news bears for me, right? Whoa, do not move to a random place. This doesn't even achieve anything. Oh, he just moves this straight back. Oh, chat. Oh, we threw it all away. Oh. You didn't have to do that. I mean, I might be mated or whatever down here, but I got my rook back, which wasn't worth it, by the way. My rook was so much better than my opponent's rook. Can you feel the 
sunshine. The day. Maybe at least this bishop here does something. I've got all of my, thankfully all my rooks are connected, sort of. Whoa, that was a cool move. That was fancy. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, I forgot that that was how that worked. So what do we do here? Do we move, do we move here maybe? Oh jeez, do we move here? That doesn't seem right. Maybe it, maybe it is. Takes, 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 takes. No, it takes, takes. No, because we need to defend. No, it takes, takes, takes. Oh god, this is so hard to fi- whatever. Our opponent doesn't have much time, so I should probably just make whatever legal moves I can and hope for the best. I'm moving away from the back rank so that we can fit more pieces to defend back here. That's probably a good move, right? Can't believe that wasn't defended. Oh no, now that I can't do that anymore. I guess we'll take that for free. Opponents under time pressure. I mean, that we can take. And we've got this check. There's like a check here, I guess, but I can block it. Wait, what piece was that? I wanna, can I move back in time? Uh, let's do this to start with. God. No rewinding moves yet? Yeah, no, that's okay. Punts, put some in peril. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. Do I want to go here? Yeah, because then that's undefendable. Let's try. I, I just don't want to give him much time. Or I could go here, but then that gives my opponent a, another... Let's start taking pieces. <laughs> let's just do this. We've got Maiden a little bit, but my opponent's got pieces that are scary, but I've got defending pieces. At least if here, then like, boom. If here, then, okay, well that's a move that I didn't want to see. Um, probably this here is fine though, right? Uh, like all I need is, cause like if takes, then I have takes. And if takes, I have takes, so like it doesn't matter, right? I think we're fine. I hope. Okay, that's okay. Right there. Now if I get checked and I move my key, there's the discovery, you know, and we probably mate. Our opponent's got 30 seconds on the clock. This is a good, this is some good ass infinite chess. Tell you what. Hold on, hold on. Chat, hold on. I'm using one. <gasps> yes! The discovery, you know? Chat, how do we? I am such an idiot. <laughs> I forgot that he could take the piece that was being... It's fine. It's fine. Because if our opponent... We're in better shape than our opponent is. Although that really set us back quite a bit, huh? <laughs> God damn it. Where are all my rooks at? Okay, that's great. So let's do... No! I misclicked! Chat, I lost because I misclicked! I'll... Oh. Chat, I feel such intense heartbreak. Literally... I didn't move. I just didn't click where I wanted to click. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. I'm okay. All I need to do is flag my opponent. I felt that pain in the deepest pit of my stomach. I don't understand that move. I mean, oh, he wants me to hang this piece, I guess, right? Okay, I guess we'll do this. Like over here or something? And then we, oh gosh. Okay. I'm in so much pain. Probably should have taken this, but whatever. It just hurts so badly. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll take this now. How many, what's, is there increment or what's the time control? Is it delay, is it increment? Uh. Guess I'll do this. Although not having that piece there kind of sucks. I can trade trade boom boom boom. We can do boom 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 or we can do boom boom boom. Now, with the queen, you can't win this game without the queen. 
I don't have I have one rook based piece left. Yeah, and now my opponent is trying to take it away. This is such a tragedy, man. This is such a tragedy. Uh fuck. Okay, boom boom boom, that's fine. Boom boom boom, that's fine too. None of this. I don't want to trade it for a knight. That's like the worst. It's a fate worse than death right there. I guess I'll move it here. Oh, we misclicked. We had the game. It was free. We had free game. All right. Well, listen. No use crying over spilt checkmate, right? Uh, that's what I've always said. Uh, what's the easiest way to deal with this? Actually, this is pretty annoying. Ooh. Actually, this is pretty annoying. That's the only piece that's... Oh, jeez. Okay. At least let's move this way. It's almost like queens are insanely busted. Um, let's go... No, now there's the boom, boom, and then the boom. Oh, that's game over. Boom, and we've got boom, boom, and boom, and boom, so that's fine. Here, I think probably they didn't want to boom, right? Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Because trading down pieces. Oh, so screwed. Um, okay. Now we boom. That keeps everything safe. Oh, he's got so much more time. Oh, he's never gonna he's never gonna lose to us. The queen is just so strong. Um taking this might actually be a bad move, but it's a move that I want to make. Cause the otherwise like this is gonna be mate or something in a second. That's defended by this and this. And here. Oh no! You can't fork! Because that's not how. That piece, that piece can take my piece. Okay, I was hoping. Oh. And now I can't kick it so that I have the fork anymore. That's legal, really? There. Ah, god damn it. Well, okay. That's a shame. This is a cool time scramble, though. Infinite time scramble. Ooh. Oh, that's hella. Okay. Oh, but we don't have the. God damn it. We don't have the fork anymore. All we can do is check him pointlessly. <laughs> that's a shame. Uh, how could we fork him? We can't. We can only fork him here, and then there's no way to... All right, well, let's at least make a completely pointless check here. You know, save some face. I'm so ashamed. Um, yeah, why not give another check here? Probably having no pieces in the back is going to be, like, a death sentence for me. But two... Rook movers against zero rook movers is rough. Okay, hold on. We've got we've got some play here. This moves two or three, right? When the hell did you get here? <laughs> what? I should probably move this guy up here. Uh okay, infinite <laughs> infinite checks. Wait. Can we be infinitely annoying? We got this bishop here. <laughs> hold on, Chad, hold on. I wonder what what can you mate with in this game? I have no idea. <laughs> like what can you mate with a chancellor with? What, what what can you mate with a chancellor with? You know what I mean. Um I mean, at this point I'm just giving my opponent like infinite increment basically. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm hoping he moves to a white square now. Because if he moves to here... Ah, oh, balls. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that I could... Andre's too smart for that. Okay, do we maybe win by repetition here? 
or sorry, win by repetition. You know, draw by repetition. Because he can't move his king to this file because then I skewer the king. Dude, wait, we might wait. Hold on. This is almost cooler than just winning, right? <laughs> draw by <laughs> We did it. We won by repetition. <laughs> Oh, we did it. I wonder if there was something better that I could have actually done there. Probably at the end. I'm just glad that after fat fingering the queen, just completely giving away the queen, we didn't lose. <laughs> I It was a total misclick, Andre. Oh my God. That was so cool. Oh, the infinite. It actually came into... That was really cool. Yeah, because he couldn't... He couldn't bring his king to this file because then I could I could skewer it and pick up the free piece. And then we're still not ahead, but you know. Sorry for misclick capitalizing. Nah, I mean that's what are you gonna do? Not take it? Like, yeah, you made the right move. I I'm just sorry that I misclicked and it tainted the sanctity of what otherwise was good ass infinite chess. <laughs> The Miss Maiden one was real? Oh, you no, know, I saw it. It was where he was smothered, right? And my queen could have gone here and mated him, right? Am I crazy? Hold on. So I, I moved from I moved to here when your king was here. You moved your king over here. I moved my chancellor here. You moved your king here. If I then just go one down, it's mate in one on board, right? King can't go... Here because of L, these two are L checkmated from here. Can't go here or here because of bishop, and it can't go here. It was made in one! Draw a bishop arrow? I can't. Dude, it was just made! I just had made in one at the end! It was the most straightforward made. I, I, I won by repetition instead of by checkmate. That's so much more of an L. Dude, I just had the maiden one. I, we drew this position by repetition. I could have, 